Hey guys, what is up here? It is your boy Cool Titanium 68 and welcome back to a new YouTube video. So, CES 2019 ended about a month ago. If any of y'all don't know what CES 2019 CES is, it's basically a big, it's literally what it says, it's Consumers Electronics Show. This is basically like the big place where a lot of tech companies a lot of tech giants will show off like their greatest leaps into stuff. Some of it might be coming in like the next couple of years. Some of them might maybe might be coming in for several years. But it's stuff that they've been able to make. They that probably will be coming in like the next couple of years. Now, one of the things that they have been showing is Wi-Fi six, and actually. There is a good rumor going around that the iPhone 11 may be having the next, that may be having the next, uh, maybe having the new Wi-Fi 6, which it named 802.11ax. Now, of course, everyone's sad that 5G won't be coming to the iPhones until 2020, and everyone's like, come on, I. Come on, Apple, really? You're going to do that to us? But I think this is actually about as equivalent, is about as good as including 5G in your phones. So Apple's usually been able to bring in the new Wi-Fi standards pretty quickly. I mean, when 802.11 AC came out... Apple immediately put it in like two years before it was finalized. Now, 802.11 AX is coming out. There's a good chance Apple's going to be putting it in this year. So, some of the stuff that's going to be coming in with this, of course, higher data rates up to gigabit speeds. So, this is about the equivalent of getting, of getting 5G inside your house. This is equivalent of like 5G cellular data for your home internet. Um, increase in capacity. This is going to be kind of like when you're... And it's like also what's going to kind of lead into our next one, which is better performance. When you go to event, when you go to like huge events where everybody's trying to use the same internet browser, same internet, but it's so slow. And it's going to improve on that. So, and this is really going to help when you have smart devices that connect to the internet. Because there's, because I think a lot of people are going to have multiple smart devices. Like, of course, you have your iPhone. You might have your lock. You might have your, your locks. You might have your ring. And then you might have your fridge. Or if you're really techie, you might have your oven, your microwave, like, this will really, like, help with that. So, the good thing about this is, even though, um, even though 802.11 AX, AEX hasn't been finalized yet, it should be finalized sometime this year, if not next year. But yeah, it's a good thing that the iPhones are going to be getting it because they're really trying to work because it's going to really improve on, on their battery life. Now, of course, as I said before, it's going to get gigabit internet speeds, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. But what I think is pretty good is their battery life. Now, a lot of other phones are going bigger batteries. Like, they're trying to stuff in 4,000 milliamp hour batteries, but Apple's still sticking with somewhere between 3,500 and 4,000. They're not quite at 4,000, but they're like right in between it. And with the faster Wi-Fi, with faster Wi-Fi, and having it being more efficient, you're gonna probably see battery gains of maybe up to like three hours from the from the 10s and 10s Max, like. It's pretty. It's supposed to be pretty efficient. 
Now, of course, I didn't go to CES because I'm not going to skip school and go to a consumer electronics show. Go to a consumer electronics show, which would be really nice. It's just school is more important right now. But yeah, it's a really good thing that Wi-Fi six has a very good chance of it being on the iPhone 11. But yeah, hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos, no matter if it's Monday Tech Rumors, Wednesday Coaster Videos, or Friday. Uh, oh man, yeah, or Friday Aviation Videos. Peace.